Hey, good morning, good morning, guys and gals. Welcome to our channel this morning. Just give me one second here. Looks like my battery was not connected there 100%. Otherwise, my uh, camera might go out pretty soon, right? Well, yeah. Here we are, getting out of this truck stop. Time to hit the road, go make our delivery. Yeah, although we don't have a reload as of yet, but uh, hey, we gotta get down there. It's about three hours worth of driving yet, so uh, that way uh, we can get this load off eventually, and that way we're ready for a new one, right? <clears throat> Could have gone out of here a few hours ago already, but I just, I'm not motivated when I don't have a reload, you know? Once I get me a reload, that's when I'm motivated and uh, that's when I want to go, you know? But uh, I guess uh, I'm just not motivated just yet because I don't have no reload yet. And that usually drains everything out of me because, uh, you know, I want to go, you know? I don't want to go to my delivery and then deliver my load and then just basically sit there and sit there and wait for a reload I hate that you know so that's why I'm saying if I don't have a reload I'm not really motivated to go you know and I'm like oh whatever I don't have a reload yet anyways it's not like this load is by appointment so you know you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that's right. And on top of that, there, St. Louis is a big city, so it'll be rush hour there if I would be there like right now, or even a little earlier, I would be in rush hour, you know? Didn't really feel like doing that either, so. But yeah, well, it's quarter to eight right now. Let's get out of here. We got about 30 miles before we hit St. Louis. So that'll be about quarter after eight. So it should start slowing down. I would almost think. So let's see what kind of day we'll have today and see if we can have a safe day today and without no breakdowns and all that good stuff. Let's make this happen this day. Alrighty guys, we are only seven miles to our delivery. Yes indeed. And I have just gotten me a reload offer. I'm supposed to go to uh, Mississippi, pick up a load there and go home again from there. Which in a way it is good because I have a problem with the truck. And uh, I want to get that looked at, right? So, uh, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully I can make it home, right? That's the goal. So that way it's kind of nice to go home, but uh, at the same time I do need some miles. Uh, don't know exactly how many miles that's going to be. I haven't, uh, haven't looked at it yet. I got to go to the customer here and then look at it see how everything is set up but at least it's a lighter load according to the satellite it was only 26,000 pounds or something like that so that would be a nice load for me to go home on Speed warning. especially since we have problems I would be happy to have a lighter load less work on the truck and that would be a higher likelihood I can make her home right be the plan anyways to get home and whatever is wrong is wrong with it and we can do it at home but yeah we'll see what uh, what it is but anyways we'll go make our delivery up here and then uh, we'll enter our information probably update our website and all that good stuff and then uh, we'll continue on to our pickup place it's supposed to pick up tomorrow so I don't know how far it is from here to there, but 
We'll find out in a little bit. Here we go, guys. We are empty and we got us a reload. Yes, indeed, we do. We're on our way to Mississippi. Oh, yeah. We had about 280 miles to go up there and we'll be picking up there tomorrow morning. They said they open at uh, 7 in the morning. And so we will be there at 7 in the morning. I already looked it up and there is actually a truck stop right there in that same town. So I can actually go to that truck stop and looks like I should be there about quarter to five according to my GPS. So that's still nice, bright and early. So we should be able to get a parking spot in there and park her there for the night. And uh, wait till tomorrow morning. We'll go pick up our load. That goes back home. Yes, indeed. It looks like we got a smoke bear over here. He's uh, looking at everything and making sure everybody is, you know, doing their job right, I guess. But yeah, that makes me super happy. We can go down there. He got us reload. Actually, matter of fact, I was just about to take the exit ramp there when we got to the reload offer there, you know. Like wow, yeah, right on time. Just like I thought it would be like you know, between 10 and 11 when they would give me a reload, and that's exactly what happened. They're about 10:30ish or so. They give me a reload. So yeah, but hey, here we are, just cruising right on along here, and going to see what's happening here. Yeah. I already called the shop there in Steinbach and already got me booked in to see what the heck is going on with my truck and hopefully they can figure things out and hopefully fix things, you know. I really hope so. I hate to have a problem with the truck all the time, you know. But hey, it's all we can do. All we can do. Now we got that cotton field over there. I call it a cotton field, but I know somebody told me last year what it's called, but I keep forgetting what it's called. I hardly ever see that stuff. When you go further south down here, you see more and more fields of that, you know? It's like these plants that have like round balls, balls with white stuff on it, like kind of like cotton. So uh, that's what I think it is anyways. So yeah, oh, we got a hard truck here on the shoulder. Oh, he's just barely moving. He must have some kind of problem. Just like me, probably some problem. Well guys, we have 67 more miles to go. All right guys, Mississippi is open. We just entered into Mississippi and here we go. We got a way station, so uh, they are open. So let's go see what they want to say to us today. Yeah, this scale is open, that's for sure. So let's go see if they got anything to tell us today or if they're going to pull us around to the back or anything like that. Let's go ahead and see. It says stop. All right. I don't know if they want me to actually pull onto the scale or not, but it just keeps saying stop, but whatever, I guess they want me to pull all the way on and then stop on the scale, I guess. Yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm empty, so there we go, we got the exit. Yeah, it's awesome. We can continue on with our journey. Well, they don't want nothing from us. Well, that's kind of nice of them. I mean, we are empty, so... They don't really have a lot to inspect, I guess, either. <laughs> Can't really inspect my load and 
doesn't really weigh me too much, I guess, because I'm empty. Hey guys, we are done for today. Yes, indeed, we are. Yeah, I kind of hope you guys can actually see me. Yeah, that's the plan, anyways. But we're at this truck stop here, and we're literally like across the street from the plant that we are supposed to load tomorrow morning. So, uh, yeah, I've been here for a few hours already, so I figured, ah, I'll close off the video for today. And, and then we'll uh, go over there tomorrow, and hopefully they'll get us uh, in and out of there pretty quick, right? So, uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. I appreciate all of you guys watching today. behind me that day is gonna come